He goes by many names. Daikaiju, King of the Monsters. Well, I guess that's about it, but regardless, he is an unstoppable force of nature. The living embodiment of mankind's mistakes coming back to bite them in the ass. Over the years, his popularity continued to soar, and he became one of the most famous and powerful giant monsters in all of fiction. For over 50 years, no military has ever been able to do more than frustrate him, no matter what kind of unusual, futuristic sci-fi weapon they throw at him, like this, or this, or one of these. His power and wrath is the most feared force in the Tohoverse, slaying any other kaiju that dares to attack him. No matter the odds, he always conquers. If there's any kaiju that defines powerful, it's Godzilla. But how powerful is he? Well, you must be curious too, otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on this video by accident. We're going to look at his best feats throughout the movies and calculate just how fast, strong, and cunning he is. We're even going to calculate the energy output of his attacks. Also, I should let you know that we are only using the canon versions of Godzilla, meaning only the ones from the Toho movies. So the ones from the comic books, novels, video games, and especially the Roland Emmerich film will not be used. With that said, there are eight different canon versions of Godzilla, all of which aren't connected to each other continuity-wise. So we'll give them eight different profiles and outlooks. I will try to keep myself from rambling. Ah, there's an interesting story behind this nickel. In 1957, I remember it was. I got up in the morning and made myself a piece of toast. I sent the toaster to three... Medium brown. Now, let's stop screwing around and start screwing around. 